and hi everybody welcome back to the kid friendly video channel where we're making Pixar cars into other cars we have a whole selection of Pixar custom cars here we created over the last few months and I want to show you the last few we did not long ago here's Darren Leadfoot number 82 shiny wax and we have Cal Weathers lightning's friend apparently from cars 3 which I missed all together and I did see the movie, but I didn't see that part. And over here we have um, number 19, Bobby Swift. They are the last three cars we did. And the one we did uh, today is actually Fabulous Sally. It wasn't a very popular video. I thought we would get more views than that, but I guess people are kind of tired of the Fabulous video series, so we're going to skip that for a while. Got some great ideas here. Somebody suggested I turn Lewis Hamilton into Ryan Inside Lamy. I got that, no problem. And uh, someone else suggested I could use Jackson Storm as Harvey Rodcap. Here's Harvey Rodcap right there. I had no idea who that was, but that looks like a good make for it. But they also suggested I use Lightning McQueen to make Brick Yardley. So I happen to have a Lightning McQueen right here. It's a brand new Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. And that's what we're going to make today. We're going to make Brick Yardley out of Lightning McQueen. So the first thing we're going to do is get the, uh, the paint out and prime this. But if this is your first time here, folks, we're making all kinds of cars. Uh, there's a whole section here of zebra cars. Zebra Sarge, Zebra uh, Doc, Zebra Mater, Zebra Samaz Axelrod, Zebra the King, Zebra Lightning McQueen, Zebra Chick Hicks, and Zebra Jackson Storm. And a whole bunch of fabulous cars here. Red's going to be fabulous probably next weekend sometime. And let's see, we've got a bunch of other... Oh, that's my favorites here. Luigi and Guido in Fabulous. And someone said I'm making too many Fabulous cars, so I'm going to take a break. Like I said, here's Fabulous Thomas and Fabulous Dusty from Planes. Whew. Fabulous Mater. And my most famous video of all, The School Bus of Doom, Fabulous Miss Fritter. 30,000 views in two days, folks. See if we can beat that. And let's see, I got a whole bunch of cars here from the Crazy 8 Demolition Derby series. I got every car I think made that was in the Crazy 8 series. Even Chimichanga there. It's actually. Finn McMissile, there's my own homemade version of Pete's Planet Truck, which is actually Mater, and all the rest of the cars here, folks. You, can, you probably saw the videos before. So anyway, I'm just going to put the camera down and get the paint out and get ready to put a fresh coat of primer paint on Cars Relight the McQueen, which is actually the same as this guy here. See Cars Relight the McQueen right there, number 95. That's one of the ones that started the whole series. And I'm going to paint this primer, then I'm going to paint it the same color as Brick Yardley and turn Lightning McQueen into Brick Yardley. Thanks for suggesting that. Let's get started right away. So instead of using that beautiful brand new Cars 3 Lightning McQueen to make Brick Yardley, I found an older version. This is Dynaco, uh, regular Lightning McQueen from Cars 1. It looks a bit more like um, Brick Yardley. So I'm just going to put him right here and put him back there and I'm going to get the paint and I'm going to paint um, the old Dynaco Lightning McQueen as Primer McQueen and then we'll start painting them the colors for Brick Yardley. I can't wait to mix up that paint. See, this one, the reason I chose this one, the tires and wheels are more suited to that car. See, they're nice and thick, whereas this here, they're different. So I didn't want to use that car. And I had originally chose uh, another, I think it was Bling Bling, this color, but he had chrome wheels. So I'm just going to go with this here. I'm going to color the whole thing in gray, including the wheels, and I'll come back and I'll put on the nice green. Okay, let's get going here. I've done a lot of these here already that are primer Lightning McQueen's, probably a half a dozen or more. And they look so good when they're primed. It's a shame to paint them, but if it wasn't for the original Primer McQueen, there would be no series of painting Pixar Cars customs. That's what started it. I just happened to see that car in the movie. Uh, if you saw Cars 3, and you've probably heard me say this story before, I was watching the movie and, and when, the, when they showed Primer McQueen, I said, wow, I gotta get that car. And I, and I couldn't get it because I don't live in an area where you can get that car. So I ended up making my own. I'm gonna cover this whole thing anyway, folks, with the right color, the green for the wheels and the, um, the tires. It'll be all done right. Now I got now I got nowhere to hold my, hold my fingers. Oh well, I'll hold the back wheel. I'll, I'll fix it again. Okay, this car is perfect fit for a brick yardly. And as Lewis Hamilton's gonna be a quick, a perfect fit for the other guy. And I got a brand new Jackson Storm. Actually, I actually had two brand new Jackson Storms now. I just picked them up at Walmart. They were on sale. So I got two brand new ones. They're in a dual pack, a two pack with Danny Squervez. Now I got three Danny Squervez. What can I use to make Danny Squervez into it? He's a he's a next gen gen he's a next gen racer, I think. So send in your suggestions what I can use. Look at that list in the back. I'll fix that up too. What can I use Danny Suarez as in the next upcoming videos? Um, yeah, so disappointed today in Sally. Fabulous Sally. It's Saturday. I thought I'd get a lot more views. It kind of fizzled out 
around an hour after I uploaded it. So I'm not sure people didn't like it, they skipped away. Because what happens if, you, if you're watching a video on YouTube and you don't like it, you skip away. Well, what happens is um, YouTube, uh, the algorithm just stops showing it to people. And even if you're a subscriber, you don't see the video. Yeah, so remember that when you're watching the video, um, if you're gonna click away, uh, it'll affect other people watching the video. So just go for a walk or something or just go for a cup, a cup of water or, or some juice because it really hurts the, the YouTuber. If you don't like it, someone else might like it, but it, if they don't like it, they click away and it cuts the video so no one else can, a lot of people can't see it, that's all. So anyway, um, I hope you aren't clicking away. Some people even sent me a message that you aren't clicking away, which is great. I get lots of views that way. And I did get lots of views last week, but today's video really, I guess didn't like it because it was Sally. I don't know what happened. I thought it was gonna be a good, fabulous Sally video. But one guy said I'm making too many fabulous videos. So the ones that did good last week were um, Bobby Swift and um, Darren Leadfoot and Cal Weathers. So I'm gonna try and keep with that tradition of doing what you guys asked me to do. So people asked for this car, Rick Yardley. There's almost done here, got two more things to do. Doing pretty good here, folks. Getting better at the windows. And the windows are, I'm, gonna, I'm trying not to get the windows dirty this time. Okay, we're full of paint. So one more fender and We'll leave this dry and come back and put the first coat of that green. I gotta mix up the green for that car. I might do it off camera, so it might take too long. So this is all set for primer now, folks. I mean, all set for the green. At least two coats, and we'll come right back and set it up. Okay, folks, thanks to the magic of the heat lamp, this car is perfectly dry now and ready for the green. In order to make this green, I mixed up uh, some um, leaf green and some neon green to get the color as close as I can get. See it's on the car there? There's the neon green there, so I mixed up some dark green with it and I got a nice color there. So we're going to start off, going to paint the entire car this mixture of green, two coats, because one coat's not going to be enough, and I'm going to do the wheels too green, and I'll come back later like I always do, and do the tires so they look perfectly black. They're nice. I don't have, no way I could put white walls, I mean uh, white lettering on the tires, so I'm kind of uh, stuck there, just going with black wall, that's fine. This is the perfect color for Brick Yardley. Now, I don't know anything about Brick Yardley. Whoever sent the request in must know who it is. Uh, was it in cars one, two, or three? Uh, please tell me. Or maybe it was in all three. I have no idea. It sounds like it was in cars one, because way back, I think. But um, I, I appreciate you guys sending in the comment and sending in suggestions. Well, the first thing I do is I look up the car and I'll see if I can make it first. There's one wheel. Perfect. And if I can make it, good. Like that. Harvey Rodcat looks really hard to make. He's like chrome colored. I looked, I picked, printed out three pictures. So I'm going to use, I forget, it was Lewis Hamilton or Jackson Storm. I forget what I said a minute ago, one or the other. And do that probably next week. I want to get, get this caught up today. This is a beautiful color, check it out. I'm try and get just across the eyes, really quiet. Perfect. I'm not going to change the eye color on Brick Garrity. Well, Leave what we have there for eye color. I'm gonna try and do that. Perfect. Okay. Now you guys, some of you guys are actually painting your own car. Someone else told me in the comment they're doing their own cars. I wish I could see the pictures or send me a link to your channel and I'll feature it in my in my description. Um, but I won't put any end cards up showing how to get to it. I'm just gonna show you in the link in the description where uh, if people want to go back and look at your video, great. I don't mind doing that. But um, that's perfect. Just send me the, if you can somehow send me a picture. I'll even put the picture in and uh, give you a shout out. Um, actually, there's more than a few people painting their own cars now. Thanks, thanks guys for um, doing that. Actually, I think I mentioned before. If you guys ever watch this video, if you watch more videos, I contacted a couple of toy companies to see that actually make Pixar cars customs. You know, just a plain all primer color car and a few paints in it and then you can paint your own car because some people can't get the paints because they don't live near a dollar store and uh, it would be hard to get them. Look at that mess I'm making there. I'm going to have to try and fix it up later. I might do the whole window black, cover it up. Probably make more sense. Here, I'll try and do the window pillar. Yeah, there we go. I got two more wheels to do. The wheels are coming really good, nice and green. Okay, I got most of the car done first coat. Okay, I'm going to one wheel in the back I missed here. I actually the one in the front too. Okay, I'm gonna jam paint in there. Nice and thick. That was a good idea. If the person suggested that is still here, say it was me that told me to put the paint on the wheel and blow through it. That way the wheel goes through. Through the wheel hole, see? Perfect. Now when I come back, oh, I got paint all over my fingers now and I dropped the car about five times, so I'm just gonna paint most of the car over again right now. 
and come back later and do the second coat. Got wind, paint on the windshield and everything. Um, paint on his eyes and everything, yeah. A lot of make mistakes, folks. That's why we have lots of paint here. Cover them all up. There, okay, let's leave that dry. Come back and put the second coat on in a few minutes. Okay, the first coat's pretty much dry on uh, Brick Gardley. Put some more paint in the wheels and then I'll put the second coat on. And that um, looks pretty good. Put the other, do the wheels first because they look really good green. Really nice. All right, okay, now I can work on the full second coat while the wheels dry a bit because the car is really warm coming from the heat lamp. Paint dries in about 10 minutes there. Really helps out. Got to make sure, make sure I, I'm recording. Sometimes I forget to push the record button in the middle of my painting and realize I'm talking to myself for like 10 minutes sometimes without recording. So yes, we're recording. Test. Yeah, we're okay. Just joking. Okay, I'm gonna do the whole front end first, and then I'll do the back half, and then I'll do the middle. That way I can hold it by the tire, hold it by the tires, think it should be dry. Okay, I may have to touch up those windows. Brick Yardy, um, number 24. It actually, um, there's white stripes on the back when I finish this here and on the bottom, so I'm gonna have fun doing that. There, really nice. And on the roof, number 24. Yeah, let me know if you saw it on cars one, two, or three, because I'm not sure where it was. Do the whole back now. There, it's going on really nice. I might even put the red lights on the back too, since this is actually a, it's not a demolition derby car like the rest of them had no lights. This is gonna have functional red lights on the back. Not functional, of course, but painted on. Look pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna hold by the wheels. There, flip it over, those wheels are dry, and I'll do the rest of the front now. On this side, wow, that green looks great, guys. What do you think? Nice. Can't wait to put the rest of it on. It's gonna be hard to write Vitaline on the engine hood. I'm not very good at that part, but I got a nice little brush now, and it might help me out in writing those tiny little letters on there. That's the hard part. Look at that, that came really good. I'm getting good at this, I think. Ah, uh, just kidding. There, check it out. You now those little stripes here, I may have to come back and paint the whole window black because uh, I can't I can't do that. It's impossible. Okay, anyway, there's a second coat, folks, on Brickyardly in a beautiful green. And I'll come back, oops. Come back in a few minutes and put on the white stripes and actually I might just paint the tires black for the next step in the we in the windows. Okay guys, we're back. This paint dried and it's beautiful color. It looks exactly like Brickyardly in the color, see? And there's number 24 on the side, and I'm gonna try and put a yellow starburst on the engine hood and number 24 on the roof, and try and write vital line there in white letters. But let's get these tires done first. I got the black paint already, and I got a nice thin brush. We're gonna try and do the wheels like we always do. We're gonna hold the brush and spin the wheel, and it comes out really nice. Perfect, that's just the look I was looking for. See, big back, big black wheels and green tire, big black tires and green wheels. Okay, let's try that again. These stock cars are really nice. I guess you can do whatever you want with them. Lots of sponsors. There won't be any sponsors written on this one here because I got it all painted over. So that, that came good. I'm gonna do the four tires and take a break because I want them to dry really nice. I don't want to ruin them by touching them while I'm painting the white on. There, look at that. This is the best. I think this is the best tires I've done so far. And I've done a lot of them, but this, this brush must be the right size for these tires. Oops, I got my finger on one already on the other side. There, perfect four beautiful black tires. Look, I got it all over my hand and on the car. Let's grab another brush right quick. And look, I left the green paint out. I'm gonna have to touch up the green paint right here. That wasn't very smart, okay. May as well do the whole car with a third coat, I guess. Nice and thick. Now the tires are drying. I'll just keep going and see how the third coat looks. I have to paint some nice, uh, um, a big smile on this guy too. He got a nice smile on his face when he's done. Okay, I almost got some on the tire again, which I don't want to do. Third coat going on nice, nice and thick. Here you go. I don't usually put three coats on because two coats are sufficient, but since I got it on the front fender, it would have changed the, the look of the car, so I had to paint the whole car. A couple extra minutes, no big deal. And I'll paint some nice red, red lights on the back too. Okay, be careful across the hood here. 
I'm gonna try the yellow starburst to see how that looks with the yellow paint. I have it all ready to go. Now I have to leave this dry again, so I don't mind waiting for the paint to dry. Okay, I got to hold it. I'll hold it by the roof. There we go. And I'm definitely gonna do the windows black. Okay, so my black brush is right here. I'll see if I can do one window right now in black. We don't make it too much of a mess. Well, I made quite a mess, so I'm gonna have to patch it up later when I come back. Okay, I'll do the whole back window in black anyway, so. Then I'll try and tidy up the edges. There, that's actually better looking. So now I'll do the other window on this side, then I'll have to come back and uh, touch up the spots that I screwed up on the other side with the green. Well, that's no big deal. Okay, nice mess there. Okay, let's leave this dry and come back in a few minutes. Waiting for that, I want to mention that. This is um, Daniel Suarez. I happen to notice that Daniel Suarez looks a lot like Harvey Rodcap. So I think what I might do instead of using Jackson Storm or Lewis Hamilton is use Dan um, Danny Suarez as the model for Harvey Rockcap. What do you think? Send me a comment if you think that's a good idea or a bad idea because uh, they look a lot, even the spoilers are the same. Okay? Let me know what you think of that. Okay, the wheels and tires are really nice, but before I go any further, I have to pick, fix up that mess I made by the windows. So I got a nice weird looking brush here. It's kind of curved down. I'm going to touch up here and see if I can get it on the paint and not on the windows. Looks like it's going to require lots of paint. Good, that came nice, and I got the window pillar here. I can just go up. Yeah, actually, perfect, folks. Now, I always hope I have that lock on this side. I'm glad the brush stayed curved, sitting in the water. And the car is really, really hot right now because it's under the heat lamp. The paint dries almost instantly. Nice, okay, now I get the window pillar. I always check now to see the camera's on because I made that mistake more than once. I uh, was talking to myself, like I mentioned before, for about five minutes and I realized the camera was off. A little more green here to cover that black up. There, guys, and a little more on this side because you can see right through it. Look, it's drying so fast, I can put a second coat on instantly. There we go. Now, when this is dried, I'm going to leave this dry for a few more minutes. I'm going to get the white and put the white on. I'm gonna do the roof too because I forgot to do the roof last time. I have my fingers holding the roof because the tires were wet. There. And again guys, like I mentioned before, keep sending in your comments and suggestions. I, I pretty much read most of them and I reply to a lot of them. But after a couple of days, I, I keep on going to the new videos. And I look back every so often, there's not many more comments because the videos have like a one day life and then that's it. Unless people start really watching and then they get picked up by the algorithm and keep on moving. Okay, you know what guys, um, I'm going to put this brush down while this is drying. I'm going to grab this here and try and paint on his eyes. Now his eyes were kind of like gray. I'll show you the picture here. And uh, there's a black grill. So I'm going to paint the eyes right on here. Not the eyes, the headlights. And actually they have a black outline on them, but I'm not sure where I can do that. There's a black grill a line that goes across the top. I'm gonna to get this here black paint right here. The black line across here. Yeah, that came pretty nice. Now let's have a look at the other picture. There seems to be a white rim for under his not a mustache, I don't know what it is, but there's a white bead of paint across the bottom and then a red line. So I'm gonna put white right along here if I can. Just get there, and there's a bead of red, a little red right here. And I'm not sure if it's, it's Brickyard, a male or female, I have no idea. But let's get this red, not lipstick, but red lip, I guess, here underneath this here. So we're gonna put red along here, maybe just a smile or something. Who knows? Okay, there, 
that looks pretty good. Pretty carried in front. Now, what I'm going to do in a few minutes is get um, the white. Actually, I can probably do a start now. I can get the white paint on the bottom. Get a nice brush here. And put a nice bead of white across the bottom on both sides between here and here. Then I have to put a weird stripe that goes all the way along the back. I'm going to get any on the tires. There's the white on that side. I'll flip it over and do the same on the other side. Oops. There you go. Are you ready? There we go. And then it kind of goes up on an angle from here right over the back tire and over behind the back window. A big thick stripe. It goes right along here and over the bottom of the window and down the other side. Those look pretty nice guys. I'll flip it over. Don't want to get any on me. And the same thing goes here. Right up over the tire and right onto this. Just like that. Then it goes up the windshield post, the rear window post. And it goes across the top about a third of the way in white. Perfect. That is nice guys. Now smooth it off a little bit. The spoiler stays green. Let me see. Put this down for a sec. The spoiler stays green and there's a bit of white on the back too. Uh, down here. I see that whole thing is covered actually. Right down like this. Nice. Wow. Whoa! I almost dropped it. Oh, that was close. Good recovery. Okay, same thing over here. Right down to the bottom. Perfect. Wow, man, it's nice. Okay, now I'm going to get, uh, I got the paint here. I'm going to paint red taillights in the back in bright red. Okay. There. Brake guard. Well, it looks nice back. Brake lights. Geez, they're really nice. Now I'm going to leave this dry, folks. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Then I'll paint 24 on the... Actually, you know what? I'm going to... I can still use the yellow. I'm going to make a little starburst on top of the car, of the engine hood, right here in yellow. And then see if I can get it like... Uh, I'm going to start with a circle. And then I'm going to make a little... like a starburst. that. Perfect. And then I'm going to write Vitaline across that. Wow, that came from nice. Let's eat this try, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, folks, we're back. We're ready for the finishing touches on number 24, Brick Gardley. Got a nice little um, brush for painting very small numbers. I'm putting number 24 on the roof in this paintbrush. And I may have to change brushes. I'm not sure how it's going to look. Especially this white back there. It's highlighted in black, but I'm not sure if I can do that. I'll try and write the two really nice and big. Or an off center there, hey folks. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see the four unless it had black outlines on it, but I'm not sure that's gonna ever happen. I'll try it maybe, but I don't think that'll work very good. Okay, try 24 in the door now. Here goes. The car is so fast, I can hardly hold it. The paint dries so fast though. Wow, I wish I could do that on the other side too. And this makes that weird four. Okay, see that makes it a little bit bigger on the bottom. And that's probably pretty good. 24, wow, that came nice. Spin her over, and I'll try the 24 on this side. Hopefully I can get it as good as that. So good. Wow, 
Wow, okay, nice guys. Now I'm gonna get a really teeny mini brush for writing a vital line on top of this beautiful starburst. And it's gonna be white as well. Oh boy, good luck. Okay, here goes, folks. I'm gonna try and do it one try. There, vital line number 24. I would love to put an outline on the back on that four on the roof. I'm gonna give it a try, see how it's screwed up or not, I'm not sure. Tiny little outline of four so you can see it. Well, that's not too bad. I'm not gonna do it with the doors, but I think that's all I'm gonna do, folks. There's actually a little big sticker here, black. A black sticker, bumper sticker on the side. It's an advertising. Probably on the same on the other side too. And all kinds of stickers that um, I could never do in a million years. So I'm going to call this complete. This is Brick Yardley, made from actually a Lightning McQueen. And here's the car. You can compare and look yourself. It's pretty close. And here's the other view. I don't want to get my fingers on it. Look at that. Let's clean this up and have a look at it. Well, there's the finished product, guys. Number 24. Vital line Brick Yardley. Thanks for suggesting that, whoever it was. Um, it came out as actually probably better than I thought it was going to turn out. There's the car uh, from the or the printed off, and there's the car that I made the uh, replica of. Um, I don't recall, like I said, where it was in the movie. But anyway, uh, keep your thoughts coming and your ideas. And I'm probably going to use not Lewis Hamilton, but probably going to use Daniel Suarez to make Harvey Rodcap. What do you think? good match so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell there's a bell that you had to hit to make sure you get the videos you can click up here and see more of our videos and um, make sure you watch it all the way through or, or or just leave it run and go for a walk or something so you don't have to skip through it and this is one of my favorites guys this is Chester Whipple filter number 15 it's actually Lightning McQueen in disguise and this one here is I know y'all saw the video this is a uh, Jackson Storm we're calling him Glitter Storm he's in disguise too he's gonna watch the demolition derbies Thanks for joining us to watch our video of um, what we're doing here, folks. If this is your first time here, is we're taking cars from Pixar cars, all these cars here from cars one, two, and three, and we're painting in different colors. We're making Pixar cars customs. And uh, I'll give you an example of what we're doing here. Um, we have a whole bunch of cars that are zebra, zebra colored. There's Zebra the King, and Zebra Lightning McQueen, uh, Zebra Chick Hicks, Zebra Jackson Storm, and uh, this is actually uh, retired lightning. Somebody sent me the suggestion. This is lightning with no decals. It's just regular Lightning McQueen with no stickers painted red. And uh, we have a whole section dedicated to fabulous uh, Doc Hudson. Where's Doc Hudson? Right here. Look, there's fabulous Doc Hudson with white wheels. You should have red wheels. And we have fabulous Chick Hicks. We painted him from Chick Hicks. Fabulous Luigi and Guido. They're my favorites. And here's fabulous Cruz Ramirez with number 51. She should have her own number on it because she's actually a race car. And here's a fabulous Sheriff with red wheels. That's pretty cool. Somebody suggested that. Fabulous the King, number 43. That's his number. And fabulous Flo, who has no number, has number 51. Look at that. That came great. Right next to that, we have a brand new fire engine. This is red, the new version. We're going to make red into fabulous uh, red someday. Not today. And let's see. On this side, we have uh, fabulous Lightning McQueen. A little wrong color, but uh, close enough. Fabulous Thomas the Train. Check that out. Number 51. Someone said I should have left number 5 on number 1, I mean, but I left number 51. And here, look at this here. Fabulous Jackson Storm with red wheels. A tribute to Doc Hudson. They're all friends now. And here's Fabulous Smokey from Cars 3. He was Doc's trainer. It's fabulous Smokey. And look at this. Fabulous Mater. If you're watching this for the 10th time, sorry about that, guys. But uh, the, new, the new people that are watching it want to know everything. And here's my most successful video so far, folks. Check this out. School Bus of Doom. Fabulous Miss Fritter. That got 30,000 views in two days. Let's try and break that record. The one we're gonna do today, folks, you know, hang on, before I do that there, look at the background here, look. We have a whole section here from the Crazy Eight Racers from Cars 3. Check it out, look. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Changa. There's Planet Pizza delivery truck. It's actually made her with Play-Doh on the hood and the grill and painted look like the Pizza Planet delivery truck. There's a real Pizza Planet truck back here. And we lost Mater's uh, torpedo. And over here we got, uh, I think this is high impact. That's uh, Chick Hicks painted like high impact. Um, let's see, what's that called? Tailgate, or yeah, I think it's tailgate. That's actually, um, anyway. And this is uh, Ramon, his liability? I think so. And let's see, there's RV, which is, believe it or not, um, Fillmore converted over. And we have 
leakless turned into pushover. Look at that. And hit and run. Uh, APB is actually, where's it gone? Police car. Uh, Actually, it's a boost converted into APB. I saw the movie the other night, and I, I seen all these cars. I couldn't believe it. And there's uh, TJ. And look at this here. A whole row of Demolition Derby cars. One of my favorites. You want to watch that video? It's Light Demon Queen turned into Chester Whipper Filter. And I spilled some blue paint on it. So anyway, there's one of my other favorite, Jimbo. He's all smashed to pieces. Look, I'll show you something. Here is the real Jimbo. Still in the package. Check it out, look. Jimbo. Look at that. There's my creation. Isn't that cool? He looks like Lightning McQueen. He looks like Mater, and I squashed him up to look like him. And over here, let's see, we have a Fair Game, the taxi, um, Taco, the truck that was in card one for a second. I never saw that part. And there's a uh, um, Sig Alert, it's Ramon, and Bill from 86. That's pretty cool. And Patty from Sally. Check that out. Now, it's, it's a very big coincidence I chose Patty last because today we're going to make fabulous Sally. And I have a brand new two pack of cars right here. With Sally and Lightning McQueen. And look, cars for Lightning McQueen and Sally. And somebody opened it up before I got it. But I'm going to open it up right now and push that aside. There's a brand new Sally right out of the box. And a brand new Lightning McQueen of cars three. Isn't that perfect? And I'll put Lightning McQueen down here. But how many of you saw Precision Lightning McQueen before? This is Precision Lightning McQueen. Just want to show you this here. The hood opens up. You can see his massive engine in there. And his wheels are really cool. They got orange on the, the yellow on the inside. And uh, that was expensive, but uh, it's pretty cool. You can actually see his undercarriage. Uh, there's the other Lightning McQueen. Look, it's just pretty plain. That's brand new car. That's an old car. Here's the new car. It's almost the same. One is highlighted better. And there's a little different size, too. Notice that? Yeah, anyway, I'm going to do... Um, pa um, I'm going to do Sally today as Fabulous Sally. Everyone's been requesting it. And I just want to give you an idea of where this all came from, folks. Uh, this car was in Cars 3. This is actually Primer McQueen. If you all remember the huge crash Lightning was into in Cars 3 when he was flying to the air. And he, I think he blew a tire or something, whatever happened. Anyway, he landed in pieces. And when he finally showed up again in Radiator Springs, he was painted Primer Gray. And I remember saying to myself, wow, i got to get that car. And, of course, you can buy it now. But when I saw the movie, you couldn't buy it. So I made my own of an old Lightning McQueen. They got lots of views, so I started making these videos, and I'm getting lots and lots of views, folks. So please uh, watch all the videos. There's a button you can select up here. It'll take you to tons of videos that we made already. Look, look how every one of these uh, cars here has a video related to it, and it goes on for hours and hours. So you can spend your evening watching cars, uh, Pixar cars, customs I call them. So what we're gonna do first, folks, um, is get our paint material out. And look at that beautiful Sally. I hate to destroy it. I wish I could find an older Sally that's all beat up, but. I look around again for a second, see if I can find it. And if I can't, well, I'm gonna paint this one up. Okay, we'll be back in a sec with the paint. Okay, folks, we're all set. Here's our primer paint. It's just plain old uh, dollar store primer. And I'll put it right back in here. It's a new bottle I opened up yesterday because I used the last one up. And I got a nice brush here, I'm ready to go. And first of all, I wanna show you something. I got a lot of requests from people the last few days to do, actually the last couple of days, um, they asked me to do Brian Inside Laney. I'll be doing that probably next week. Now, I don't know what kind of car to make it out of. If you're watching this video, what will I use to make Ryan inside Laney? There's a picture of it. Any idea what that is? I could use Lightning, or I could use uh, one of the cars in the World Grand Prix. Put it in the comment section. And here's one I really love this here, Harvey Rodcap. I never heard of him before, but he was in Cars 3. Um, it looks like a next-gen car. What will I use for that, guys? I have a nice spoiler in the back. Send me a message. And this is Brickyard Lee. I have a nice request for that for somebody number 24. Um, I don't know what I'll use for that. Just put in the comments what I'll use for Brickyard Lee, Harvey Rodcap, and Ryan inside Laney. And I'll, I'll get them done next week. And uh, let's get the first coat of paint on Sally right now while we're still going here. And I gotta cover Sally completely up with the gray primer before I put the beautiful blue on it to honor Doc Hudson. Actually, Sally's gonna look pretty good too with uh, more lipstick on it when I finished, obviously, because it's because it's a girl, obviously. So people have been asking me for Sally for a long time to do um, the um, honor, fabulous Doc Hudson, honor Doc Hudson. Sorry, uh, people ask me. People have asked me for a while now to do uh, Sally in honor Doc Hudson. She's the only one that there's only a few left. Like there's Fillmore and Sarge got to be done yet, and there's Red the fire truck, which will be done. And that's why I bought the new fire truck. There's no way I was going to use. The original red, even though he's an old and beat up looking, he's the original red. Apparently he wasn't the right size, someone told me he was the wrong size for the cars in proportion, so they pulled him off the shelf and made a new version. Check that out. 30, 301 PCE, what's that stand for? 
301 PCE license plate on the back of Sally. There goes her little fancy pinstripes. There goes Carrera. Sally was famous in Cars 1 because she became, first she didn't like Lightning and then they started being closer friends and then all of a sudden they're kind of like uh, together as a couple, I guess. And then Cars 2, he was on the road all the time. He never had time for that stuff because all the races and everything. And that brings you back to Cars 2. What did you guys think of Cars 2? I really like Cars 2 because it was a big separation between Cars 1 and 2. And a lot of the kids that saw Cars 1 kind of grew up a little bit. So they kind of liked Cars 2. But a whole generation of new kids went to Cars 2. And they didn't get it because uh, it shouldn't have advanced to the stage where it did, I don't think. I, th I think that's what was wrong with that. It. it was too far advanced for the kids. And they were expecting like Lightning McQueen again. And Vader became the star somehow. And not many liked that. So it was kind of like people kind of thought it was kind of bad. But I liked it. And Cars 3 altogether was great, way better than Cars 2. And I think it was as good as Cars 1. There was lots of emotional scenes in Cars 3. Yeah, that's how you know it's going to be a good movie when there's some emotion in it. And there was lots in Cars 3. And um, one of the guys uh, sent a message this morning. I did Cal Weathers, uh, where is he? Um, right here, yesterday. And I don't remember seeing him in Cars 3, but somebody didn't think I was telling the truth. And obviously I was, because apparently he was his friend. Lightning McQueen's friend, I didn't know that because I was too busy watching the movie. I guess I missed a lot. So sorry about that. I didn't know who it was. I wasn't lying or making it up. Okay, let's uh, finish up right here, folks. And uh, there's one more spot over here. And I have to do the wheels red and the tires black in honor of Doc Hudson. So I'll have that all set up for the next time. Okay, we'll leave this dry in heat lamp. We'll come back in a few minutes and we'll put the first coat of Doc Hudson blue all over Sally and totally change the color. Actually, there's, there you have it, folks. For the first time in. Pixar Cars History, Primer Sally. You won't see it anywhere else on any channel except for kid-friendly videos. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes with the blue paint. Okay, folks, Sally's dry now from the being on the heat lamp. I'm gonna put the first coat of um, Peacock Blue Paint all over Sally. I'm trying to keep the windows clean, but I may have to paint them black because I don't know if I can keep them completely free from paint. As I see, I got some on already. I'll try my best. Uh, I'm definitely putting two coats on. Oh, got some on the eye already. Oh, careful. Don't wanna do that. Uh, it goes on so much thicker and nicer when there's two coats, especially for... I'm going to try and write Fabulous Sally here. That's going to be really hard to do. But I think that's the best thing. And number 51 will go on the roof and on the doors. And I'll put something across the hood. I don't know what yet. Um, I'll have to check the rest of the cars. What I have on that igniter or something? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, just across the eyebrow. That's the hair part. I'll be very quiet for a couple of seconds. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's going to go on nice. The car's still warm because it's on a heat lamp, so it's drying really, really fast. Won't take long to get the second coat on. There we go. I almost put the paint brush in the black paint. The black paint's for the tires, and the red paint over there is for the wheels, so I'm all set to go. Oh, I just did it. Okay. And the brush. Okay, that's why we have spare brushes. I do that about once every time I'm painting the car. I put the brush in the wrong paint. But I got so many paint going, and I'm Distracted talk to the camera, which is okay though. I can handle that. No problem. Okay, most of the car is done now for the first coat. Now do the front, and if I can, I won't be able to do anything until it's dry. I can't do the tires or the wheels. It's got a little lip here under the windshield. See it? There, I got it. Now I heard somebody. A few more guys are painting their own cars now. I can't believe it. That's great. I don't know who they are now, but I'm down here, but. Um, several of you guys are painting your own cars, and I volunteered if you want to send me a link to your channel, I'll put your link up there. One guy sent me a, a video, he didn't say to put the link up yet, so if you want me to give you a shout out, I, I will on the next, the next coat, but I just forget your name right now. I just to go back and get the name, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget it. He's doing really well. Nice, nice, I think he made smashed up lightning or something like that there. Okay, there's the first coat of primer, I mean, uh, Doc Hudson Blue on Sally. Let's go put this to dry and come right back in a few minutes put the second coat on. Okay, that first coat's pretty much dry, folks, and I'm gonna get the second coat on now. Lots of fingerprints on it for me. Look, spot there missing because I put it over in the heat lamp and put a finger on it. That's no problem, I can hide that. It's actually not so bad the second coat covers up pretty good. It's not the first time that happened, so I'm just gonna continue on and put the full second coat on, and it's still really warm now because it was on the heat lamp for a little extended period of time there. I'd like to do the exhaust pipes again too. Um, get them nice and chromed up or gray, something like that, put that nice gray on it. 
There we go. There we go. Perfect. It's going on so much better. Sorry guys, the camera dropped and uh, I didn't see what happened so you missed the whole thing for about a minute there where the camera slipped way down low and I was talking so I cut that whole section out and uh, I'll just show you where I finished it off. That was a mistake, I left the camera too loose on the mount and I wasn't watching the viewfinder, I was watching the paint. Okay guys, I'm going to leave that dry and come back in a minute and I'm going to just paint the, paint the wheels or the, yeah, the wheels red first and then I'll concentrate on the, the tires after that and then I'll concentrate on getting the, the numbers put on in the Fabulous Sally written. There we go everybody, the two coats of paint are really dry now and this is um, soon to be uh, Sally, Fabulous Sally. I'm going to get some red paint now and paint the wheels. And I definitely do the wheels first. I made a mistake once I did the wheels second and then I got paint all over the tires again. So lesson learned, do the wheels first and then the tires because it's easier to do the tires after the red's done on the inside. Look at that, game, nice, beautiful. This is awesome. Funny they don't make these cars. Like this is gonna be something for Mattel to make. I was hoping they'd make these um, Pixar cars customs. You could buy the car uh, prim painted primer and it comes with some paint and then you can paint your own. I actually got hold of a toy company to see if they'd make that, but they weren't interested in that. So they don't want you to paint them. Well, you can paint them yourself. You can go to the dollar store, get their own paint and look at that came nice. Really nice. Okay, now if I can do this without getting my fingers on the paint on the other side, I'll be laughing. Because that happens all the time. I'm trying to like uh, hold the car, paint the picture, I mean paint the wheels, talk on the camera and keep the, the car centered in the viewfinder. Try it sometime. There we go. That's the third one. Now the last one. So I left the brush, I left the blue brush out just in case I get some, um, make some mistakes. So I'll patch it up while I got the paint still ready to go here. There, that's coming nice guys. This is one of my best ones I think. Look at that, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna, while I got this here, I'm gonna get another small brush and I'm going to paint the exhaust pipes gray again, right here. Just like that. And, oops. And I'm gonna paint the tail lights red again, just like they were before. Okay, that's nice and thick too. You can see that it's blobbed. It's a Porsche, what do you expect? Geez, beautiful. I wonder if Porsche were involved in the making of the movie or if they just supply the rights to make them to use the car. Wow, check it out. And the license plate, I don't have, I'm gonna make the license plate uh, where it was gray, so it looks the same. There, perfect, that's nice. In the front, her headlights, um, I, I'm gonna make them gray. There's gray in the picture, so I'm just gonna make them gray all over again. Here goes. The Porsche always had nice headlights too. Beautiful, look at that, perfect. Okay, now the other side. Lots of paint on the brush for these because it kind of fills out really nice. Nice, all right. How about that red for the lipstick? I'm gonna put that on right now. Nice that red lipstick right here. Here it goes. Beautiful, jeez. Sally's looking really good. The outside is done, now I'm gonna put the numbers on. Let's leave this dry so I don't get it all screwed up and we'll come back and do the tires and then I'll put the numbers on. Okay, the car is pretty much dry now. The headlights are dry. I um, might put some more red lipstick on Sally. I'm gonna do now is the black tires and get them out of the way because some of them have gray paint on them. I don't wanna make them look too bad. This won't take too long. But it looks really nice when they're done. See that? Perfect. And do the front one. See this one got a lot of gray paint on it. Here we go. Perfect. Wow, I can't wait to see this finished. And let's see if I can get this one done. And thanks to guys for sending in all your comments and suggestions. I got a lot of suggestions already for these new cars that are coming up. Holy jumpings. I, um, there's so many more suggestions. I, I don't want I don't know. Someone keeps asking for a cat, lightning into a cat. Uh, that probably won't get done, but uh, keep coming up with other ideas, folks. That's not bad, but 
I don't want to do the cat one. Okay, now that's done. Now let's leave that dry. Or no, let's let's try and write um, I'll put number 51 in yellow. Right now on the roof. In honor of Doc Hudson. This is gonna be 51. Well, that's my best five yet, guys. Holy jumps. Fifty-one, and it's actually on the back quarter panel too. You see, Doc Hudson, fifty-one. I'm gonna try and write a small fifty-one right here. If I screw it up, I'll just repaint it. Perfect. Now the other side. Here it goes. It's very. It's a good brush, actually. Here it goes. Now when I come back, I'm going to write Fabulous Sally on the sides. Okay guys, the car is almost finished now. This is Fabulous Sally. I'm going to try and write Fabulous on the side in white and then Sally underneath in yellow. So I've got a new brush here, a very, very fine point. I'm going to try and write Fabulous here in nice letters. Wow, that came really good. Oh look, I got nice white all over the front there, I'll have to fix that. And let's turn it around and I'll try and write fabulous again on this side. That was really good. It must be the brush. Here it goes, folks. Okay, it's not too bad. Now I'm gonna turn it over and do Sally. Can you write in the paint? No, I didn't. Okay, Sally in yellow underneath that, okay? So I'll see if we can get that looking really good. I don't have to be as small because I only got five letters to write. Sally, wow, that came pretty nice. Let's do it the other side, see how that looks. Here it goes, fabulous Sally. Wow, that came really nice, guys. I'm gonna get the blue brush and touch up all these spots that um, I got some white paint on somehow and especially up here and let's see where I'm gonna do the, the red lipstick again because this is really nice and I got a little surprise right now I'm gonna that looks really good second coat that's really red lipstick guys now here's what I'm going to do, surprise, I'm going to take the yellow brush and I'm going to draw a lightning bolt on the hood in honor of Lightning McQueen. So they know she's Lightning's girl, even though she's a tribute to Doc Hudson. It didn't come very good folks, I'm going to erase that and uh, we'll do that again in the other side. Cover that up and we'll come back and put a lightning bolt on facing the other direction when this dries, okay? Okay, that dried. Let's try that again, folks. I'm gonna messed up on the lightning bolt there. I'm gonna go this way. And then in and out that way. Perfect. Of course, she has a lightning bolt on. It's Okay guys, that looks like the end for Fabulous Sally. Let's clean up and have a look and see how she did. Well folks, there's Fabulous Sally. Glad to add her to the group of fabulous cars dedicated to Doc Hudson, number 51. And she'll slide in right next to Thomas. How's that sound? Thomas the train. Here we go. Got only a few more left, folks. We'll get all the, all the fabulous cars done. There's Fillmore, Serge, and Red. And if you haven't seen this video yet, check this out. I made this last week. This is actually a Demolition Derby car. It's number 50. We made him up. He's actually Jackson Storm in disguise. So he can fit in when Lightning is battling Miss Fritter. See that? That's pretty cool. And last week we made Cow Weathers. And where are the other two? Darren Leadfoot. 
Bobby Swift, number 19. These all are really good, uh, lots of views, folks. So uh, if we're trying to break a record, I want to see if I can get more than 10,000, more than 30,000 views on Sally here. If you want to do me a favor and share it with your friends, I'll see if I can get 100,000 views in the next couple of days and that, that'd be awesome. And uh, next, I think we're going to do Fabulous Ramon. We got lots of Ramon, probably on Sunday, Fabulous Ramon. And next week, we're going to work on those other three I told you about. Um, Brian inside Laney, what do I make him from? Send in the comment. Um, Harvey Red Cat, I love that card, it's awesome. What will I use for that though? And Brick Yardley, who will I use? Put it in the comment section. And uh, guys, thanks for watching. We all, I forgot to mention Fabulous Dust here from Plains. He's actually uh, an honor of Doc Hudson. And that's what it for now, folks. Thanks for watching and um, subscribe, watch my videos, and come back and watch the next video. Have a great day.